This is a Blender animation of text transforming into smoke. It was created by modifying this Blender project that I did previously. In this video, I'll show you how to make some quick modifications to convert this animation into this animation. So to make this animation, start by following the video to make the previous project. I put a link to it in the video description. Then come back to this video and I'll demonstrate the modifications. For this video, I'll be using Blender version 2.79b. This is the previous project. The first modification to make is to change the file name. I'm going to name it transform.blend. Next, select the Smoke Domain Cube if it's not already selected, and then switch to the Physics panel. Then click the Free All Bakes button. This will free the smoke and the dynamic paint bakes. Now we'll give the floor a glossy surface. So select the floor and switch to the Material panel. Then change the surface type to the Principled Shader. Set the roughness value to 0.2, which will give the floor a glossy look. Next, select the text and switch to the Particles panel. Change the start value to 10, and change the end value to 100. This will make the particles start later and last longer. Now switch to the Texture panel. Then click this double arrow button, which will reverse the direction of the blend texture. Now the particles will be created from right to left, instead of left to right. I'll play this to show you what it looks like now. I'm speeding up the video for this because it runs slow in real time. Now switch to the Object Modifiers panel. The text has some imperfections in it along the edges. I can make it look better by increasing the Octree Depth value. I'm going to increase it from 8 to 9. But you'll notice that when I do this, the number of vertices increases from about 37,000 to about 151,000. So make sure that you don't increase this value too high because the number of vertices increases very sharply. Now switch to the Physics panel. This animation doesn't have fire, so change the flow type from Fire plus Smoke to Smoke. You can change the smoke color here. I'm going to set it to a hex value of 3788FF. Next, select the Smoke Domain Cube. Change the time scale to 1, which will increase the speed of the smoke. We're going to bake it now, so come down to the Smoke Cache section. If I were to click the Bake button, then Blender would just bake the smoke. But if I click the Bake All Dynamics button, then the smoke and the dynamic paint will be baked. So this is the button that I'm going to click. You can see the progress up here. I'm going to pause the video until it's done. The baking is done now. Now select the text. Then switch to the compositing screen layout. Currently, the text starts out as transparent and then becomes visible as it's painted with dynamic paint. We're going to reverse this and start with the text being visible and then turn it transparent as it's painted. To do this, change the math node from less than to greater than. This mix shader causes the edges of the text to be darker, which gives the text a charred look. We don't need this effect anymore, so connect the output of the principled shader to this middle mix shader input. This mix shader and the other nodes that connected to it are no longer used. Now we'll set the color of the text. You would think that if you set this to the same color that was used for the smoke, then the text color would match the smoke color, but this is not the case. So we're going to use the dropper tool to set the color. After clicking it, wait until the render view finishes updating, and then click on a light area of the smoke. You may need to do this more than once to get a good text color. Now switch back to the default screen layout. 
Next, switch to the Render panel. Then click this button and navigate to the directory where you want your animation to be saved. I'm going to click this button to create a subdirectory named Transform. Then I'll select the new directory and then click the Accept button. I'm going to use the PNG file format for this animation, and I'm going to use 50 render samples. Now we're ready to render the animation, so I'll save the project first. To render the animation, go to the Render menu and select Render Animation. If you want to stop the rendering process before it's done, then click the X next to the Render Progress bar. Now I'll pause the video until it's done rendering. The animation is done rendering. To play the animation, go to the Render menu and select Play Rendered Animation. The animation will play through to the end and then start back at the beginning again. If you would like to convert your animation into a single movie file, then you can watch my video on rendering and animation. You can find a link to it in the video description. In that video, I also explain why it can be a good idea to render your animation as individual images. Since I've finished rendering the video and I'm happy with the result, I'm going to free all of the bakes and delete the large bake files. This step is not required, but I like to do it to free up space on my hard drive. So click here and return to the 3D view. Then select the Smoke Domain Cube and switch to the Physics panel. Then click the Free All Bakes button. Then save the project since we just made a change to it. Now I'll use Windows File Explorer and navigate to the directory where I saved the project. The directory named Blend Cache Transform is the directory where my bake files are located. So I'll delete this directory along with its contents. If you want to recreate these files again, then click the Bake All Dynamics button. When it's finished baking, then save your project again. Well, that concludes this video. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe and leave a comment.